In the second example, suppose that the joint density of capital X and capital Y is given by the function e to the negative x over y times e to the negative y over y when both x and y are positive and zero otherwise. We're going to find the conditional probability of capital X greater than 1 on the condition that capital Y equal to Y. The first step is to find the conditional density of X on Y. Since the joint density function is only non-zero when both X and Y are positive, we only need to look at this region. Under this assumption, we can plug the expression into the definition of the conditional density function and we will end up with this expression. And we could cancel out the common terms on both the numerator and the denominator by finding the antiderivative. We could have the integral given by this. And the final expression is 1 over y times e to the negative x over y. Hence, the conditional probability of capital X greater than 1 on the condition that capital Y equal to Y is simply the integral of this conditional density function from 1 to infinity with respect to x. Thus, we can solve this integral and end up with e to the negative 1 over y as the answer. Here is the third example. The joint density of capital X and capital Y is c times x squared minus y squared times e to the negative x when x is between 0 and infinity and y is between negative x and x. Find the conditional distribution of capital Y given capital X equal to x. Know that the non-zero region of this joint density function is elucidated by the shaded part in the figure down there. To find the conditional distribution, we will break the computation into three steps. Step one, find the density function for capital X. And we need this ingredient in finding the conditional density. Recall that the density function of capital X is simply obtained by integrating the joint density function with respect to y. Since the non-zero region of this function is only from negative x to x, we can restrict our integral interval to this particular region. And over this interval, the expression of the function is simply given by c times x squared minus y squared times e to the negative x. So the antiderivative with respect to y is going to be given by c times e to the negative x times x squared times y minus y cubed divided by 3. And we will have to evaluate this expression at x and negative x. After plug in and some slight simplification, we end up with 4 over 3 times c times x cubed times e to the negative x as the outcome. The second step is just putting things together to find the conditional density of capital Y on capital X. Since the joint density function is only non-zero on the region given by X in between zero and infinity and Y in between negative X and X, 
we will impose this condition on our function. In this case, the conditional density function is simply given by the joint density function divided by the marginal density function with respect to x, which was computed in step one. Hence, we end up with c times x squared minus y squared times c to negative x over 4 over 3 times c times x cubed times e to negative x. After cancelling the common terms for both the numerator and the denominator, we end up with 3 over 4 times 1 over x minus y squared over x cubed. The last step is to find the conditional distribution. We suppose x is in between zero and infinity for a number a in between negative x and x. The conditional distribution of a on x is just the probability that y is less than a on capital X equals X, which can be obtained by the integral of the conditional density from negative infinity to A with respect to Y. Since the expression of the conditional density function is only non-zero, in between negative x and x, we can restrict our integral region to this interval and apply the expression that we obtained from the last step. The antiderivative of this function is simply 3 over 4 times y over x minus y cubed over 3x cubed. We need to evaluate this expression in y on y equals a and y equals negative x. After simplification, we end up with 1 half plus 3a over 4x minus a cubed divided by 4x cubed. Putting everything together, we eventually arrive at the conclusion that the conditional distribution is given by this piecewisely defined function.